Yo, what's going on guys? It's Sam or Smito here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be doing my first Genji coaching video in which I go over Genji play from a given tier and analyze that play, talk about what could be done better, and talk about why I made some of the plays that I did. This footage is from my Bronze GM, which was a few days ago. Uh, this is in Platinum, so today's video is Platinum Genji coaching and how you can get out of Platinum playing Genji. Now, if you guys want me to go over your individual gameplay, if you come to my streams, which are going to be every day at 3 p.m. EST, and you donate 10 USD I, and link a gameplay, I will watch over your gameplay and analyze it for you and talk about uh, how you can improve and give personal tips. So it's kind of going to be my coaching service. I don't expect a lot of people to do it, but if you want personalized tips just for you, feel free to come by the stream. Just say hello, uh, and uh, yeah, let's get into this video. So let's watch this first fight thoroughly, and I'll talk a bit about what I'm doing. Right now, I'm kind of waiting at the high ground and looking for picks with the Sonic Arrow up. I I'm peeking the window where I can see the enemies without taking a lot of poke damage, kind of analyze where I want to go. I see the McCree over here, and I get that free kill. Then I'm going to pop up on the high ground and shoot at their in a little bit, and I'll, I'll let you guys watch the rest of this, and I'll, I'll go play by play about why I did what I did to win that fight. So to start, as you guys can see, after killing the McCree, I, I see their hero pool and what's on their team, and I decide to play up on the high ground. The reason why I come up on the high ground here is because I can free shoot their team uncontested. They don't have any heroes that can dive and contest me up here, so I can put a great damage output up from out up here, allowing my Mercy to also fly to high ground while not taking very much risk myself. Genji is really about risk versus reward, and if you know how to get a good reward without taking much risk, that's what's gonna help you improve your play a ton. So I dash across the Ana, through the Ana, onto the other high ground where I can continue to free shoot after killing their McCree, pressure their team from the back line without taking a lot of risk and getting right in people's faces and taking damage and being forced to back off. So I look at the Ana here, and I see that she's used her heal nade. After she's used her heal nade, I know the only thing she has left is sleep, so I'm gonna drop down, get in her face, the only way this Anna can defend herself is by trying to sleep me. So I'm going to save my reflect, wait for the sleep dart, reflect it back into her. Easy kill, free kill. We take the point. Now the Roadhog comes back. I'm going to feed my blade on him, which is like the, the Roadhogs are great for feeding your blade. A very, very important part of Genji is knowing how to feed your blade and getting your dragon blade as frequently as you can. So I'm going to get in his face, right click him a bunch. Then lastly, I'm going to reflect in his face, get a little bit of extra damage, dash to this tracer, win the point. Now, because I fed my blade a bunch, I have 87% on blade. We're going to have blade for the first push on attack before they have their support ults. I didn't take a lot of poke damage, so their supports couldn't feed on me, and I didn't damage too many people other than the supports so their supports definitely don't have ult so i'm gonna get a free blade here and that's kind of the first fight now let's get into this second fight over here uh on the second attack point so coming into this point their right heart's gonna throw a fire strike and the moira is gonna orb okay i'm gonna reflect both of these back from as far away as i can and kind of wait a second for my reflect to get back on cooldown now why i reflected those two things is a the moira is not going to be able to feed her ult B, that normally that Moira Orb will give me a ton of ult charges. If you're playing Genji, you're going to want to reflect as many more. Excuse me. You're going to want to reflect as many Moira Orbs as you can. It's going to feed your blade a bunch. It stops her from feeding her ult, and it's very, very important to do that. Now, what I did wrong here is I kind of dashed in before my team was ready, and I paid the price. You don't want to dash into the entire enemy team and die, because look, now I'm 25 HP, and I, I'm going to die from my blade, right? I, like, I should have waited for my team, should have waited for an orb, and that was really, really my fault for playing too aggressive and going before my team really got there. Now, we end up winning the fight, and that's totally fine, and that's good, but, uh... After that, I come back over here, and I get up in their spawn's face so they can't get on the point. It's kind of important to do that in 2CP, to get up in the spawn door if you're about to cap. Obviously, you don't want to just feed when you do it, but if you can hold their team in spawn and not allow them to touch, then I'll end up yeah, winning the 2CP cool. point. And as you guys know, 2CP can be very, very difficult to cap just because of how staggered spawns can be. So if you don't get an immediate team wipe, you're not going to cap. So it's also pretty important to hold them at chokes and make it a hard time for them to get through the chokes. That's the best way to end up winning those attack pushes. All right, so here we're playing defense, and I'm kind of just looking around for the enemies. I'm not going to really overextend. I see they have a Widow, like, right up here. I, I believe they have a Widow. I might be wrong. Yeah, the Widow's on the map somewhere, but I'm in I drop down in front of these guys, and I'm going to reflect at the Roadhog, so that feeds a good 
quarter of my blade, even a third of my blade, right? So after I do that, I'm saving my dash, and I'm just dashing back towards my healers pretty much immediately, so I don't get hooked and I don't get killed for and, and die a senseless death and get picked. But as you guys can see, it's 20 seconds into the game, and I've already fed 40% of my blade because this Roadhog is taking a ton of poke damage. So reflecting on Roadhogs gets you a ton of ults. Reflecting in general gets you a ton of ults. Like your reflect charges your ultimate ability faster than any of your other abilities. So I recommend you use your reflect well to try and feed your blade. Then I see this more up taking poke damage i'm just gonna left click her till she dies misuse my dash there but i'm gonna save my reflect right so the the hog is there the mercy's on the left and i'm gonna reflect right here just in case the hog tries to hook me then i climb on top of this thing it's very very important that i got this high ground because this roadhog doesn't have an angle to hook me if you don't play into your enemy's strengths as genji then you're gonna end up doing a lot better while feeding your blade then i just dash out because that was the right play to make there's no point in staying up in the choke right now especially when we're down our winston i'm gonna take this high ground and wait for them to push in because again they don't have anything to contest me up here so so after free shooting their mercy i get my blade and i'm blow on the widow i'm gonna blade the widow quickly kill her then kill the mercy and then get back to point and that's kind of what my team needed to win that fight i do end up dying here i think um but the moira gets lit and the hog gets really really lit and we ended up winning that fight and again it's very very important to just get up on this high ground especially on volskaya maps like hollywood are the same if they don't have anything that can contest high ground sit on high ground as genji and just try and get as much poke damage on them as you can especially on their squishies because if you get their squishies low and you can dash and kill them it just puts a ton of pressure on them they have to worry about you all the time and you're literally uncontested so it's really really good to do that so after that fight, I ended up dying to the Reinhardt, and I'm coming back. I see their Widow shooting over here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to reflect around the corner because I know she's looking for me, and use that reflect to get right up in her face. Because if you use the reflect and get in the Widow's face, the closer you are to the Widow, the faster it is that you can move around her and jump around her, making it very, very hard for her to aim with her scope in, right? So it's going to be really, really hard for her to hit you. Try and jump over her head so she has to unscope. While doing that, try and right-click her in the head for a ton of damage like you see me do here. Then I can just right-click dash her again quickly melee her finish her off get right up in her face so she can't really do too much i fall back to point again take the high ground wait for the rhine emp kill him feed my blade on the hog hogs dead we win the fight positioning is very very important on genji and you're going to see me say a lot of the same thing here especially in lower tiers good positioning is going to be what wins you games position yourself on high ground where you can deal a lot of free damage again use your resets well as well you guys see me using reflect very defensively oh, and offensively if i dash in i'm going to not dash in without my reflex so i can use my reflect to get out and if i use reflect right in somebody's face i'm going to save my dash so i can dash out use your abilities to assist one another use them to, to feed your blade and reflect out or you can just dash in reflect out or reflect when you're right in somebody's face and then dash out right try to always save one of your abilities to get in or out of fights so right here my winston's going in on the rhine so there's a bubble up here so i can push up into the bubble to support him i turn around and see the roadhog i reflect feed that little bit of my blade now you see a mercy's here a widow's here and a hog's here i'm not going to want to dash into that area what i'm going to want to do is save my reflect and the second it drops dash out so i can't get hooked there's no point in bleeding that there's no point in taking extra damage there there's no point in risking getting hooked you're just going to want to get out of the get out of that fight and wait for them to push as a team with blade because they don't have any support ults that can counter my blade now this last fight, again, it's last fight, our team's pushed up on them and I stall them, and again, I'm taking high ground because I'm uncontested on high ground, I have great vantage point about where their team is, I can get free poke damage from above, I can wait for the Widow to jump up like I did here and kill her, dash through her, EMP comes in, I'm pushing up, I see the McCree come around the corner, I have my reflect. Since it's lower tiers, I know he's probably just gonna spam around the corner, so I reflect as I come around the corner, kill him get right and dash through the moira i'm already take i've already taken some damage right so if i dash through the moira while she's low i get free damage on her so if my teammate gets the kill i get the elim and i'm also dashing onto the mega so she can't pick up the mega and heal so if i take that health pack from her while dashing through her getting a limb credit if she dies so my dash resets when i'm too deep and taking the mega i'm full health can fight her while she's low and say my teammate kills her i can still dash out because i'm getting a limb credit right I, I use that dash to get the kill on her and to make sure I had a safe exit when my teammates killed her, if they killed her, which I'm pretty sure they did. If they did,
get it and it's fine. She's too low to fight because I dashed and got the Mega, so she can't pick it up and you're stuck fighting a Moira. So that's going to do it for this footage. I hope that helped. I talked a lot about positioning today and positioning yourself well in Platinum. If you guys have questions, just ask me them in the comments down below. I'm going to talk to you a lot more about using your skills well and how you should blade. This is just the first of many Genji coaching videos about Platinum and there's going to be Diamond, there's going to be Master. I'm going to be going over a lot of different stuff, but in Platinum, a lot of it is just positioning yourself well, not dashing into enemies and using your abilities in unison, right? So get up in somebody's face and reflect and then save your dash and dash away while you're feeding your blade. Or if you dash in at a kill, use a reflect to get out and vice versa. That's how you kind of want to use those two abilities. Uh, positioning is very important, like I said, and I'll have another video talking about dragon blading and how you should dragon blade. I did briefly touch on not blading into an entire team, especially if they have a Reinhardt or a Hog or something or a McCree. Make sure that their cooldown, cooldowns are down first. Try to make them use their stun, use their hook, use their sleep dart, use whatever the heck they have to use, and then go in. That's stuff that's going to be very, very important in trying to climb. I hope this helped. Leave a like down below, sub if you're new, and be sure to sub, uh, stop by the streams too as well if you guys don't come to the streams. We'd love to see you guys there. So thanks for watching. Catch y'all later. Peace.